Here we are a company using both NX and Solid Edge to design our machines. Or it could even be that one of our suppliers is using Solid Edge to design certain aspects for us. We'll start in NX. The aim here is to show how we can seamlessly use Solid Edge to design and construct one of the control panel assemblies that sits on the right hand side of this machine. We can use Team Center Share as our collaboration platform and share the assembly with our Solid Edge designer. Tasks allow for seamless tracking of the deliverables inside Team Center Share and can be tracked in various ways, such as this Kanban board. We'll switch to Solid Edge and start by opening the master assembly via CAD Direct, which creates zero extra files on disk. Once the assembly is open, we'll use the create part in place command to define a new sub-assembly in the context of the design. Notice, we are saving everything in Team Center Share Connector folder, allowing all parties to have the latest up-to-date information. Then we can start constructing our sheet metal enclosure. As we do this, we can easily reference geometry from any of the annex parts to ensure the panel fits correctly first time. Once the initial tab is created, a couple more sketch elements allow us to use a contour flange to define the enclosure. Next up, we need to create the mounting holes that attach the panel onto the frame. Once again, showing the background parts allows us to ensure we are working in the context of the assembly by referencing the existing NX geometry. This ensures they are in the correct position and right first time. Once the sketch geometry for the holes is created, they can be pushed through the model. Another hole on the bottom of the panel will allow for the connection of the harness cable later on. Then we need additional holes on the front of the panel for the screen and control buttons. Followed by the assembly of these components and our new panel is complete. Back in NX, we need to assemble the panel, so we'll use the add component and pick the new design directly from our team center share connector folder and pop it into place in the overall design. Then we will constrain our controller box. A couple of design changes are needed, which can easily be communicated via the view and markup in team center share. With full integration of Team Center Share inside Solid Edge, we can view all the markups right from Solid Edge. We can see that we have a design change that needs to incorporate the contents of the left panel into our newly designed right panel. We can stretch the width of the panel to make it 250 millimeter wider, then move the mounting hole for the harness, and then we can add the mounting holes. To help here, we are going to use the power of synchronous technology by copying the mounting hole locations from the left panel and pasting it onto our part. A final attach creates the holes. Then we can assemble all the new components into place by dragging from our part library. We'll now make one final edit to reduce the overall height of the panel slightly. Again, synchronous technology is our friend here to make the task quick and simple. And our modifications are complete. Back in NX, we'll integrate the new design revision back into the top level assembly. Using the interoperability between Solid Edge and NX, we can complete this step in one click. Then we'll force an update on the control cabinet so that the harness cable updates correctly to the new location. The next step is to update the views in the 2D drawing. And remove the right side panel. We can now update the CAD direct geometry inside Solid Edge and watch all the changes performed on the assembly in NX such as the deletion of the panel come through. One final step is to mark the task as completed in Team Center Share right from Solid Edge. So there you have it, 
the interoperability of Solid Edge and NX working in perfect harmony for faster and easier designs.